I am Trey Normile, known on the internet as Raw Gator. I go to NAU, that's the school that I drive for uh, in the college series, NAU Esports. My college major is Creative Media and Film, and one of my favorite tracks has to be Phoenix Raceway, uh, because I live in Arizona. It's a track I've been going to primarily ever since I was uh, about nine years old. That was my first NASCAR race, and ended up moving to Arizona a bit after. I got into iRacing because I really wanted to just pick up something more serious. I was always playing like the NASCAR video games, started out on NASCAR 09, and so this was kind of more immersive and uh, I wanted to get more of a realistic experience, so I picked this up late 2018 and um, just kept playing ever since. My favorite things about iRacing consist of all the NASCAR series that they offer and all the NASCAR tracks. They have so many tracks like laser scanned into this. It's, it, it just, it's an accurate representation of what you would find in real life. So uh, I like racing all the different series, recently got into Enduros, and so I've been having a blast with all of that. For a team slash crew, I don't really have one for ovals, uh, which I race a lot more, but I have a road team that I do endurance races with. And so uh, to have that, have a team kind of to work with, to back me, I feel like makes me a lot better because when I'm alone on the racetrack, no spotter, no nothing, I feel very, like everything, the weight is all on my shoulders. So that kind of helps, helps me do better in a sense, I guess. So my current rig is a little bit scuffed. It's a Logitech G29 wheel and pedals, but it, it's also just a single monitor at 75 Hertz. So definitely there is stuff to upgrade and I wanna do that in the near future. My dream rig, I've really been looking at the uh, Fanatec V3 pedals recently. Um, so that might be a pedal set that I want. And I've been always wanting triple monitors once I have more space. Triple monitors, I feel like, kind of gives a little bit of an edge uh, on, a, on a single because you can have peripheral vision onto the sides without having to look right and look left separately. Motion rigs and all that I'm not so sure about, but perhaps maybe in the future. Since beginning iRacing, just learning how like, learning how different every car drives because you could be racing the trucks, right? And you could be racing that for hmm, weeks and weeks on end, but then you hop into an Xfinity car, and even though it's an even though it's a NASCAR stock car, it's it's still going to feel a lot different. And even with the next gens now, the trucks and Xfinity cars have four gears, the next gen cars have five gears, so we're all, all getting used to that right now. It's not too too much different, but it's definitely a different aspect. So I'd say like gearing um, between each car and how how they drive. Some cars have more grip than others. Um, so it's just a lot to get used to and to start out I would definitely recommend focusing on one or two series and then branching off into others. Well, my favorite achievement so far in iRacing, I've been racing for three years. Nothing too spectacular, but there's some good ones. Racing with Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the Firecracker 400 prelims. Winning the Core League, um, there's a league I race in called the Core. Winning the Daytona 250, uh, which was the season opener in season three. So to win that in a four wide finish was pretty amazing. Yeah, so there's been a couple of NASCAR drivers that I've been able to race with on the, on the service. So a few that come to mind, I'm a really big fan of AJ Allmendinger, raced with him in C-Class, uh, William Byron, Dale Earnhardt Jr. I've been in a lobby with Kyle Busch before, but we never shared the track, so I don't know if that counts. So right now it's kind of tough. I don't have ex an exact favorite driver, but uh, if Clint Boyer wants to hop on the service or if Carl Edwards wants to get iRacing, those would be two drivers that I would love to have a one-on-one one -on -one duel with in this, in this simulator. I definitely want to be qualifying for the college iRacing events from here on out and being competitive in those. So um, I think that's a good little uh, next jump, I guess, in the sim racing career. Um, yeah, to just be competitive in that until I am done with college and then we'll see what, what's to come after that. All right, so coming to the line, it's up to the driver whether he wants to cut this or not. I will. So just to show you, you can go all the way down here. I don't necessarily know if it's faster, but uh, you can do that. And then in turn one, you want to kind of enter up high and then dive it down low to get the straightest run you can on exit. You could get loose here, so just be careful that the back end doesn't fly out from under you. And then go into th going into three, turn in very early. 
because sometimes you might miss this corner and then just hammer the gas on exit. It's a relatively smooth exit and then uh, that's a lap around Phoenix Raceway.